Blue Strings program got started because a faculty member of the Academy of Music who lived in the Parkview neighborhood saw that this would be a great advantage to the school in her, in her area. And because it had a Montessori program already impl implemented in the school, she felt it would be great partnering of a violin program. And she herself was a Suzuki teacher, and there's already a partnering between those two, Montessori and Suzuki. Uh, it would be a great way to use violin to help the students in the neighborhood. The program works having the students come from every class, third through sixth, to music, which would normally be scheduled in their day, as, but it is violin class instead of music class. So they have two sessions a week for 45 minutes each, and they are instructed as a class in violin. There are 400 students approximately in the school that are receiving violin instruction in grades three through six. We have violins that the program has purchased as well as the school, and each class uses the same group of violins. We have five teachers for this program. I am the coordinator, and some of our teachers teach us from one to four classes, depending on their schedule. They come in just for teaching those classes, and many of them are freelance teachers and have other jobs other places. But they have a heart for this program, and that's really what makes it work. We have seen uh, some of the results of this program feed into not just the violin, the, the string programs in the middle school, high school, but also band and chorus, as well as students excelling in their academic and going on to college. Mrs. Watkins, our principal, every year pretty much has a graduate from the high school come and speak to the kids about their experience with the violin program and what it had done for them. And kids have talked about being C students and hanging out with the violin kids or the music program and boosting up their grades because that's the crowd of kids that are doing the best in the school system. One of the emphases of our instruction is that the students learn not just to play the instrument, but also to read music. And they become readers of the notes, so they're not just mimicking what they hear us say or do, but they actually can read and be independent thinkers. And this requires a lot of decoding. Uh, decoding is a big part of mathematics, and um, they're learning those skills here, as well as the physical skills of learning to play the violin, which require quite a few fine motor skills that a lot of these kids have not had that much experience with. Coordination, and uh, not to mention self-control and the discipline of learning to follow the teacher's directions exactly, not just generally. As part of this program, we have an after-school performing group that rehearses once a week, and these are students selected from the fifth and sixth grade who catching on and very interested in doing more. And so they rehearse after school and then we take them to do performances. It might be at a fundraiser for the Academy of Music, it might be at a nursing home, another event that uh, we can schedule. But this gives those kids a challenge beyond what is in the classroom and um, it's a great experience for them to play together and form an ensemble. This program could not work without the fine support of the Beasley Foundation. For over 10 years now, the Beasley Foundation has been a part of this, funding this program, and it has just done amazing things for the families, not just the students themselves in this community. Many of the students have siblings that have come through this program, and kids are going over to the high school, middle school programs and feeding those programs. It's very exciting to see the growth of this program beyond just the t time they spend here at Parkview.